Hello Mila, hello Jack. Welcome to Storytime with Grandad. Today's book is called Pingu and the Seagull. For his birthday, Mum and Dad had given Pingu a brand new scooter. Today, Pingu was taking it outside for the very first time. He was proud of it and he didn't want to get it dirty. Just then, a seagull came by. It flew over Pingu for a while and then splat! Some droppings landed on the new scooter. Pingu made a large snowball and lobbed it straight at the seagull. Take that, he shouted. Don't be so cross with me, said the seagull. You were just unlucky. Inside the house, Pingu carefully cleaned up the scooter so that it looked spanking new again. This time he thought it was safer to leave it inside. The seagull was waiting for him outside. Let's play together, it called out to Pingu. I know lots of good games. No thanks, I've got better things to do, Pingu shouted back. Pingu couldn't believe his eyes. Wretched bird, can't you be more careful, he shouted and waved an angry fist at the seagull, who was still circling overhead. To Pingu's fury, the seagull stayed around, flying over him and jeering at him. At last it stopped for a drink. As it dipped its beak into the water, a lobster suddenly took hold of it and wouldn't let go. You deserve that, said Pingu, chuckling. But then he felt sorry for the trapped seagull and began to tug as hard as he could at the tail end of the lobster. When at last the lobster let go, it began to chase Pingu instead. Don't touch me, cried Pingu, hurrying through his front door. Pingu soon came out again, carrying two large saucepan lids. He banged them together over and over again, chasing the lobster back into the water. Instead of being able to play outside on my own, I have to keep fighting stupid animals, Pingu muttered to himself. And just as he was thinking that, Splat! Some more seagull droppings landed on his head. Pingu was furious. I do you a good turn and this is what I get in return, he shouted at the seagull. Mum came out of the house to see what all the noise was about. My poor little Pingu, said Mum soothingly as she scrubbed Pingu clean. And as the nice soapy water washed over Pingu's head, he soon began to feel ready for anything again. The end. Bye bye Mila, bye bye Jack. We'll see you soon. Bye.